everyone this is Janvi and welcome back to my youtube channel or welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to do our question number 5 on exercise 1.3 math and CRT books chapter number 1 so what we have to do what's in the question of question number 5 let's see so the question says what can the maximum number of digits be in the repeating blocks of digit in the decimal expansion of 1 by 17 Perform the division to check your answer. What we have to do, we have to find the quotient, total number of answer that we are getting. Okay, that when you divide any of the sum, what we get? You write a digit over here, you also write a digit over here, and you also write some digit over here. Okay, and you write some digits in the last form, where you end, where you end your solution you write a digit okay so where you end your division is known as remainder and where you write the answer of your digit over here that was your question so we have quotient not question it was quotient so we have to find the total number of digit over here okay and what's the question is the question is 1 by 17 so we have to find it but if we divide the number that is 1 by 17 then we found a little answer but what happens that uh, if we add more digit the answer will getting stretching by stretcher so what should i do i will show the answer in my notebook that how i done it okay so now let's go and see my notebook so are you able to see these all answer i have done it by like this 7 1 and this was the longer answer that i found and last remainder my remainder is 100 and what is my question it is my question so now let us go and back to my board okay now let's see what's the answer so are you getting this number this was the answer that was forming by dividing this number we are getting this as the answer so if we say what is the answer, let me count the number it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the total number of digits are, the total number of digits are 15. Okay, we are getting 15 as our total number of digits. And if we have to write the answer, what we will write, we will not put the line over here we will put the bar over here because when i'm dividing it what happened we will write 1 and 17 like this okay so i add some zeros over here and this was the portion that i'm forming then i'm dividing and in the remainder i again forming 100 it means the same process will divide again that's why i have put bar over here so this was the correct answer and this was the answer of this question let's see now we will discuss question number 6 in the next video. Meet you soon as possible. Like, subscribe and share.